咁就差唔多每一課呢，大家都有機會去睇嚇呢啲嘅個案。咁當中有三對嘅夫婦，咁今日我哋睇返第一對嘅夫婦就係、是、Blair 同 Arwin， 佢比較年輕嚇，正係處理孩子事業轉變所帶嚟嘅壓力。咁所以當即係大家睇嘅時候，我希望大家嚟到去留意下佢哋點樣嚟去進入，但係點樣嚟到去完成呢第四個嘅對話嚇，咁讓佢哋嘅經歷。嚇嚟到作為我哋嘅借鏡嚇，幫助我哋亦都可以接觸到我哋自己一啲嘅情緒，我哋一啲嘅需求，一啲嘅恐懼嚇，亦都可以嚟到同嚇依附對象嚟到去去分享。咁嗱，當我哋嚟到去睇嘅時候咧，就分每組有一個問一題嚟到去留意嚇，陣間嚟可以派代表嚟到同我哋嚟到去分享嚇。所以如果大家睇翻講義咧，第七頁嗰度嚇。咁第一組呢，留意第一題嚇，咁所以大家睇嘅時候，耶度寫低一啲嘅筆記，咁到時討論又派代表嚟到去分享嚇。每方無論係 Blair 或者 Arwin 嚇女方，佢哋最惧怕係啲乜嘢？換言之，有啲咩依附嘅恐懼。第二組呢，同我哋嚟留意下，每方 Blair 同埋 Arwin 從對方最渴望得到係乜嘢？換言之，佢哋裏頭嘅依附嘅需求。第三方面呢，就每方要接觸同埋告訴對方自己恐懼嘅時候係點樣嘅呢？有啲乜嘢係唔容易？咁就第三組嚇，第四組，當每方要邀請對方嚟滿足自己嘅依附需求嘅時候係點樣嘅呢？有啲咩係唔容易嘅？第五組就當你睇個對話嘅時候，你有啲咩嘅感受，有咩嘅經驗？第六組呢，有啲咩對你係最感動嘅？有啲咩對你係陌生嘅？第七組。啊、有啲咩對你嚟講係唔容易了解，係唔容易回應，係唔容易學習嘅，咁啊，大家可以即係睇嘅時候可以到去寫低一啲筆記嚇，咁、啊、由陣間小組可以分享，由派代表上嚟同我哋嚟到去分享嚇。So let's talk about the hold me tight conversation. Hmm. Um, um, maybe you guys can give me a sense of where you went in that conversation. Where did you? Start with that. Arwen,、um, would you like to start?、Mm -hmm. It's really about your fears, right? Exactly, and it goes back to、um, I think our experience while we were overseas, and、um, we we realized that that this major episode in our marriage started when my entire identity changed. I went from a you know very driven, motivated, ambitious professional. Um, to a new mom and spouse, isolated overseas,、um, with a much greater dependence on Blair,、um, and、uh, it was a, a major identity shift for me.、Um, and I, you really needed him. I at that really、point. needed him for for all sorts of things that I hadn't really needed him for before. Financial,、um, you know, I had to rely on sort of his permission. Um, in a way, for anything financial, because I didn't have my own income.、Um, so it was a real shift. It was a yeah, real transition. It was a huge transition for us, and and really sparked, I think,、um, the negative patterns in our relationship that hadn't been quite so prominent before.、Um, the 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 really important thing I needed from him, though, was emotional support, and、um, uh, you know. I didn't feel that I, I I was getting that from him. I would, I would, you know, sort of reach out and reach out for him, and、um, and I didn't feel that that you understood where I was coming from. What I really wanted was empathy and compassion, and、um, it didn't seem to be part of your part of your the fabric of your makeup.、Mm. Um, Can you help him understand right now? What that fear was like, what you were in in that, what was your your worst? As you understand it now, what was the real fear that was coming up for you in that situation, and that sort of got set there and became the sort of music in this pattern? Can you help him understand that fear that came up for you? Well, the reaction that that I you know got mirrored back from you was that I was. That I was crazy. That you know, my fears were totally irrational.、Um, my feelings weren't justified, and it really demeaned you know who I was as as a person. I was searching for my own identity at that time, and what was mirrored back from you was、uh, that I was irrelevant. That that I was crazy, and for me, that triggered the deepest fear that 
um, that I wasn't good enough for you and um, that I was irrelevant and irrational and I felt really alone and mm. really frightened and then I would go to a place where I felt well if I'm not good enough for you then what's the point in all of this why are we together and and you know just a, a real hopelessness that that if I wasn't good enough for you then eventually you'd realize that yourself and leave and you couldn't find a way to come and have him you couldn't find a way to call that he would hear and he would turn towards you, right? Mm -hmm. So that was very scary for you. Mm -hmm. You were in a strange environment. Right? And I felt very, very alone and very um, misunderstood. Um, you know, you were saying that, that I should act a certain way and that I shouldn't feel the feelings that I was feeling, that I was being irrational, that I was, you know, just an overbearing, overprotective mother um and i i felt that i was justified in my feelings and and therefore there was a huge disconnect between you and i that just felt like a, a gulf that couldn't be crossed mm. and it hurt so much to hear that you were scared and you needed him to listen to your feelings and somehow you couldn't get him to turn towards you huh? in exactly. a way you needed him to take care of you yeah i did so did you tell him what you needed in the, what, am I getting it right? What do you need when you feel like that, are we? Well, the, the, the thing about our protest polka is that I didn't really realize what my base needs and my deepest fears were at that time. You know, we were spinning around in our vortex and I was really unable to articulate to him in a way that he could understand yes. what I really needed. Um, at the time and now you know that we have a greater distance from it and now we have the tools to analyze our relationship and work on it of course I can articulate what I need from you and you know what I needed then is also still what I need now we're not necessarily in those crisis moments to that degree any more at this time in our relationship but I still you know I still go to that place when things aren't aren't going well for us. And what you and need? I, I still need, I, I don't need you to be perfect. I need you to be here for me. I just need you to listen and, and empathize and, and try and understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. Especially when I'm scared about something. Especially when I'm scared. And that's, that's, when, we, that's when we do our, our dance. What's that like for you to hear her say this? Uh, well, it's, you know, it's kind of, it's shocking, really, um, to hear uh, that I, I wasn't there for her and, you know, um, wasn't meeting her, her needs and, um, you know, wasn't uh, being what a, a good uh, husband should be. And, um, you know, I... I had no idea that I was having this effect on on Arwen and through my actions and my words and um, the last thing you know I wanted you to feel was to feel abandoned and yet that's exactly what happened and um, but I think you know um, the the way that it's true that the way that we had reached out before had always been in a way that you know, it manifested itself in terms of um, little day-to-day -day things that that um, that were related to the deeper fears, but didn't um, weren't evident. You know, in terms of what really was the motivation behind them. If it was something like you know um, the fear over the ungated swimming pool, you know um, that you know to me that was just a, a problem to be solved you know it was okay it was it was a day-to-day -day transactional thing you know it did because me Harvey it was worried about not having a swimming pool gate because you had a little girl right 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 but you're saying we used to talk about problems and in the middle of those problem mm -hmm. discussions we were kind of reaching for each other right but we but then we got into a situation where 
we needed to be able to reach for each other in a much more obvious and explicit way and talk about our fears and our needs, and we weren't used to doing that. Yeah, Am I hearing I you? I never realized there were deeper um, emotional needs behind, you know, these things that were coming up. And right. um, if I had known that, I mean, it would have been... I hope I, I would have reacted in a, in a different way, but I think it's, you know, it's our ability now to be able to express our basic needs so much better and and um, so that, like you said, the signals don't get crossed or um, muddled uh, between us. And um, so, I, you know, I think there's, there's hope. I mean, it's very painful for, for me to, to hear how lonely Arwen was and how you know, she was fa dealing with this crisis basically on her own because I couldn't, uh, I was incapable of, you know, seeing through what she really you needed. Were, you were tuned to a different channel. Yeah, it was like being in a fog, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's it? Well, can you tell him what it's like to hear him say these things? Well, it's a major relief, actually, that you weren't intentionally uh, <laughs> ignoring my needs, <laughs> really. Um, and, you know, I can see how, how difficult it is to, to, to get the message because you were sending out your own messages to me that I completely missed as well. So, you mm -hmm. know, I think we've reached a level of healing in our relationship that um, is really healthy and really, really necessary. Right, right, right. Good. So... What about you, Blair? Can you mm -hmm. um, help Owen understand, tell her some of the the, the real um, fear that comes up for you when that raw spot gets touched? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, my the essence of my deepest fear is to be seen as a, as a the big disappointment, you know, the big failure. And um, I work so hard to... to succeed you know and 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 to be a good father and to be good at my work and you know whatever i sort of put my mind to and um that's my biggest fear really is is failure but above all it's to be seen as a failure in your eyes and that yeah. would just be devastating for me and um you know i think it goes back to silly things and seem silly, you know, and trivial in my childhood where, you know, in, when I was young, I, grade five, I think, yeah, I was at risk of failing, getting a very bad grade in a science course because I couldn't, you know, grow lima beans. And I, you know, <laughs> uh, it, I just, you know, didn't, I, I, I didn't follow the process and, and the beans were just put in a drawer <laughs> And of course, they didn't grow. They had no TLC, you know. And um, and I think you know it's it's funny because it's it's exactly what can happen to a relationship too if you don't pay attention to it and you don't nourish it and you don't you know give it what it needs. You know, there's a risk that it's just not going to grow. It's going to die. It's going to get moldy like my lima beans did. <laughs> and but I was just so profoundly ashamed, you know, that when the repercussions of of me being so nonchalant about this this important science exercise and the impact it was having, and then it was a trying... it was a small thing in one way, but in, but it has a huge feeling for you. You went into some real shame. You were really mm -hmm. uh, sad, and you were really disappointed in you that yeah. you'd let that happen. Yeah. And that's the same sort of feeling that yeah. comes up for you with Owen. When you well, hear exactly. her being unhappy. Exactly. Right? And, you know, it's a question of letting you down, and but also, you know, a question of letting myself down. And um, so... So if you, you go know. into that kind of panic, then I guess you think, oh, my goodness, I've, I've messed it up. I've, I've done it wrong. I I've, I've, haven't met her expectations, right? Um, then I guess that gets in the way of really hearing her and listening to her and saying, yes, I hear that you're unhappy. You're trying to say, no, you're not unhappy. Don't be unhappy. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the thing, I guess. You know, your, your signals to me seem to be like a feedback mechanism saying that, okay, I'm not doing something right, I'm failing. So then I try and find solutions or I try and, and I go into that rational problem-solving mode, which doesn't help and isn't what you need. Um, but 
that's the way I'm interpreting it. And so, you know, I'm trying to find a way to make it a success. It's just that I'm not getting the message right and I'm not doing the right things um, mm. that are really the way to to react and respond. And, um, you know, I we're going to be in this together for um, the long haul and, you know, we're going to be facing more difficulties and probably another overseas assignment in the future. And I remember you saying, well, you know, I'm giving up so much and I'm sacrificing everything and I just hope this is worth it. And to and me, what, that, did, what did you hear when she said that? That was just like, wow, you know, okay, oh my God. Um, it's sort of like, am I worth it? Well, yeah, and then and do you regret? Are you going to be a big disappointment for me at the end of the day, or are you going to fail? Or you know, I have doubts in your abilities, or you know, or Ooh. here's all this pressure on you. Um, and I was just like, oh my, okay, I've got to work even harder, and I've got to, you know, uh, uh, you know, be successful, and I. I, I can't fail, and I've got to do everything in my power to. And when to, you're under that kind of pressure, it's pretty hard to turn and just reassure the other person. Well, exactly, yeah. So, so when you get this feeling, when this feeling comes up, right? What do you need? How can she help you with that feeling? What do you need from Arwen? Can you tell her? I think I just need to know that you know you're going to love me if uh, even if I don't. Uh, do everything perfectly, um, and that, you know, I can be allowed to fail and, you know, uh, you know, have roadblocks and these sorts of things, and that, you know, even if we don't do everything totally right, uh, you know, that uh, I'm not going to be this big disappointment to you. That's what I, and I just, you know, that you need your reassurance me. and yeah you choose me and um that um you know you value the work that i do and 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 the successes that we've achieved and um you need her you need to know that she sees maybe she when she tells you you are doing a good job because you're really trying hard right mm -hmm. and you need her reassurance that even if you get stuck and you make mistakes right that she she wants to be with you yeah, yeah. How does it feel to tell her that, Blair? Can you tell her how it feels to tell her that? I don't, you know, it's, it's, it's empowering. It's, um, it's like you, you have this weight lifted off you. It feels like, wow, you're, you know, more human than ever, you know? And, <laughs> uh, I feel less like a robot, I guess. And, you know, I mean, it's something I've never told Arwen before, I guess. And um, maybe I just assumed that she knew it or she could pick up on the signals or um but um you know they were pretty deep down inside there and there were a lot of layers of defense built over top of these emotions to keep to protect myself you know so people wouldn't know that um it was fear of losing and fear of being ashamed over a failure that would you know, is my deepest fear and that, you know, makes me vulnerable. So it is a very vulnerable thing to say this, but, yes, you know, when you have someone who is, you know, prepared to, to listen and respond positively, it's, it's very fulfilling, ultimately. Yes, feels good to do that. Feels like a big relief. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you to hear him saying this, Owen? It's wonderful. Um, for me, success is about us. You know, I understand how committed you are to your job, and um, and that's why I'm I'm here with you, and that's why I'm I'm willing to 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 make the sacrifices and and to go with you because I know how important it is to you. But success for me is us, and uh, a success is a connection, and. I am, I am incredibly proud of you every day. Mm. Um, I think that you are an amazing man, amazing husband, and a fantastic father. And um, and I feel really fortunate to be with you every day. Um, mm -hmm. I I I think that um, I don't need you to be perfect. In, in any way, shape, or form, I don't need you to live up to any 
unrealistic, idealistic ideal, and all I need is is for you to be here. Um, yeah. All and, I need is for him to be there with you, right? Yeah. And I, I, I want to reassure you that you don't have to be perfect, and and um, we don't have to achieve success in in traditional terms. Success for me is just us being together and being close and holding each other tight. 嗱，頭先咧，咁我哋有機會有睇下。都係同阿維進入第四個對話嚇，咁睇下佢哋點樣嚟去重建佢哋之間嘅連結。咁然後就想邀請每組嚟分享一下嚇，佢哋即係睇 Blair 同埋 Aaron 嘅時候睇到啲乜嘢嚇。所以第一組可以同我哋分享下，每方佢哋最驚係啲乜嘢咧？佢哋有啲咩嘅依附需求啊？咁咧就 Blair 佢有啊幾樣嘢，我哋個組係啊講到咧，佢自己嘅要求係啊 do everything perfectly。咁佢係驚住做唔到嘅，跟住咧佢就、呃、想 successful， 但係唔能夠係 fail 嘅。咁同樣咧，佢係驚到咧佢自己嗰個 biggest disappointment 就係 big failure， 所以咧佢要 work 好 hard， 咁咧就時時都覺得自己達唔到呢個水自己嘅水準。咁另外個女士咧就係佢優次嘅誒個 fear 係嗰個 financial， 因為佢嘅 income 係係靠住個老公，同埋咧佢自己就係、是。自己認為係唔 not good enough for 佢嗰個老公，咁咧就覺得佢自己有啲嘅諗法係誒、uh, irrational 或者係 irrelevant， 同埋咧佢都覺得誒、uh, 自己係失望，就係、是、因為佢唔係誒 good enough for 佢嘅老公。係、嗯、啦，好好。好第二題咧就係、是、第二組嚟翻去，每方從依附對象最渴望得到啲乜嘢咧？佢有啲咩依附嘅需求嚇？阿阿雲咧就係、是、想誒。Um, 阿 Blair 咧成日都可以俾到誒佢嘅情緒上嘅支持俾佢，咁誒誒即係想阿 Blair 啦，即係佢佢如果阿 Ivan 咧佢有咩需求，阿 Blair 咧會 to be there 喺喺度 available， 咁誒、呃、聽佢講嘢啦，誒、呃、明白佢佢嘅感受啦，誒、呃、有呢個同理心啦，誒、呃、對佢係即係有有呢個 compassion 同情佢啦，明白佢啦，嗯。咁啊，想阿 Blair 咧係一個 good listener， 聽即係聽佢講佢嘅誒誒擔心啊，佢嘅需要啊，誒、呃、而阿 Blair 咧能能能夠感同身受，嗯，咁而阿 Blair 咧佢就誒、呃、想誒阿雲咧係接受佢，即係誒、呃、接納佢，去誒。呃即係佢唔可以做到好 perfect 㗎啦，佢知道自己即係唔可以、呃、完全滿足到阿阿雲嘅需要，咁但係就佢都盡力去做，咁啊希望阿阿雲咧能夠係、呃、肯定佢啦，誒、呃、幫幫幫佢誒、呃、滿足阿阿雲啦，咁、呃、正如第一組所講啦，阿 Ben 咧係好想。即、就、係、是、實施嘅，好想成功嘅，咁誒，即、呃、係、就是、每一方面都好想成功啦，想滿足到阿阿雲嘅，咁阿而阿阿雲咧就就阿 Sure 去即係話 success 對我嚟講咧就係、是、你喺我身邊，呃、我哋係一齊嘅，係 to be together， 同埋係好親密嘅 close together。好，第三組就分享咧，當每方要接觸同埋要講俾對方聽自己恐懼嘅時候係點樣咧？有啲乜嘢係唔容易嘅咧？首先佢係、呃、透過、呃、之前係有嗰三種對話，認識到自己本身嗰個需要去表達出嚟，佢自己、啊、我要求係要你嘅。肯定要你嘅支持，係無條件嘅愛。之後啊，俾對方認識到之後咧，對方就可以去認同咗之後去接納佢無條件咁肯定，就係、是、用翻而家今日學嘅第四種嘅對話，咁就可以比較容易啲。如果唔係咧，就根本亦唔認識到對方嗰個深層需要，就從行為上表現咧變咗就係合埋一個魔鬼對話。跟住咧，第四組同你分享嚇。每方要嚟到邀請對方滿足自己需求嘅時候點樣咧？係有啲咩唔容易嘅咧？佢佢哋其實咧就一嚟 ask for 係好表層嘅嘢嘅啫，但係佢其實 expect 咧翻嚟嘅嘢咧就係、是、係要深層嘅翻嚟嘅。咁、嗯、變咗嚟講，但係當對方係收到嘅信息就係、是、你需要好好好簡單嘅嘢，好表面嘅嘢，咁咪俾翻個理性嘅簡單嘅答案佢咯。其實咁變咗個答案就係唔係佢 expect 翻嚟嗰樣嘢，所以其實就係、是。大家都係卡，都係錯咗嘅。Ask for 又 ask for 錯咗 ，respect 又 respect 錯咗嘅。嗯
嗱，所以講我哋深層嘅需要唔容易嚇，我哋裏頭好多嘅恐懼嚇，我哋驚表現成為一個軟弱要依賴人嘅人嚇，譬如男方佢驚佢失敗嚇，令到對方失望嚇，所以佢要嚟到去保護自己，又有好多嘅羞恥，咁要攔咗佢好直接，又將佢嘅需求嚟到去講出嚟。咁女方亦都係有好多恐懼嚇，驚即係對方滿足唔到嚇，我亦都唔夠好，對方會離開我。啊，有絕望嘅感覺嚇，咁、啊、所以亦都唔能夠直接將佢嘅需求嚟講出嚟嚇。啊、okay, 第五題嚇，所、啊、以當你睇到呢個對話嘅時候，啲咩經歷咧？咩係正面嘅？乜嘢係比較負面嘅咧？即係我睇到就係話、呃、通常佢哋都係誒，佢、呃、哋通常都係俾錯咗盡信息啦，又或者自己接收。咗一個錯誤嘅信息啦，就係、是、話大家都係 focus on 一啲表面嘅嘢，就係、是、通常都係話呢件事做得唔好，呢件事做得唔好，咁以至到對方咧就會覺得即係、呃、有個好錯誤嘅信念，就係話我係一個弱勢嚟嘅，我係一個失敗嘅境地，我係一個不利嘅位置，就係話咧對方唔愛我、啊、我不被重視咁樣，即係而呢個信念係錯咗咯。因為除非即係大部分嘅夫婦咧，都係因為佢幫到你手，或者你有錢，佢先至愛你。咁咁就會有呢種呢種信念就會成立咯。如果唔係咧，呢種信念通常都係錯誤咯。只要即係教翻正個信念，就係話其實唔係話自己誒啲嘢做得好唔好，對方就會因此嚟誒、呃、對自己嘅價值啊，或者愛唔愛對方，或者重唔重視對方，而係話。就算件事做得唔好，正如佢哋所講，就算我唔係 perfect 嘅，做得啲嘢都唔係 perfect 嘅，但我已經係贏咗嘅，因為咧，其實我係需要你，你又需要我，其實我已經係大贏家。咁如果係有咁嘅信念咧，就唔會有嗰啲嘅負面出嚟咯。因為通常都係覺得就話、呃，你唔需要我啊，我唔重要啊，所以我就退縮啊，或者攻擊啊咁樣先出現咯。好啦，當我睇嘅時候咧，分開兩部分嚇，頭嗰部分佢哋嘅互打紅線之上，講好多嘅內容，好多嘅嘢嚇。咁我睇就覺得好悲慘，一對夫婦咁相愛嚇，咁想嚟到去成功，但係不知道將對方嚟去擁開嚇，咁實在即係睇嘅時候，我哋都會覺得好 sad 嚇。但到尾嘅時候，當佢能夠將深層嘅恐懼嚇、裏頭嘅需求講出嚟嘅時候，大家將對方拉近嚇，彼此嚟到去回應，彼此安慰，我就話而家又開心嚇，有希望。咁所以呢啲我哋睇嘅，我哋會有嘅感覺嚇，佢哋冇乜講感覺啊，所以補充嚇。好，第六題嚇，咁有啲咩令到你最感動嘅乜嘢可以認同？有啲咩係你認為係比較陌生嘅呢？啊、我哋覺得咧最感動嘅咧就係佢哋能夠可以將佢哋嗰啲深層嘅情緒咧表達到出嚟，亦都識得咧去點樣去安撫對方，即係話就算你唔係咁完美，你。我,我仍然係愛你，我我我覺得你係已經盡咗好大嘅能誒嘅嘅力出嚟啦。咁、嗯、我就好好 appreciate 你，我我我好 proud of 你。嗯、即係我哋覺得呢樣哇，即係尤其是佢哋啲男士們咧，我哋啲弟兄們咧，個個都話：哎呀，我老婆能夠咁樣講咧，就會最好啦。嚇<笑>、啊！咁誒、呃，另外我哋覺得咧，佢哋真係好誒，好、呃、好誠實啊！能夠能夠將佢心心底裏面嘅説話咧，好好好誠實咁講出嚟咧，咁呢個就係真係好誒，好好令我哋感動咯。啊、有咩我哋認同嘅呢？就係即係如果我哋每日誒、呃、每逢我哋有呢啲咁嘅誒誒難阻嘅時候、崎嶇路嘅時候，我哋能夠可以解決得到咧，咁呢個係最開心噶啦。嗯啊、對我哋嚟到講係、啊、陌生咧，咁其實我哋冇乜時間講、嗯。我自己嘅感受咧，就係即係兩夫妻能夠咁樣能夠講出心底裏面嘅話咧，係好難得嘅。係啦，係啦，冇錯嚇。所以睇到嚇佢兩個唔單止認識自己嘅痛處嚇，亦都係邀請對方去安撫嘅痛處嚇。咁變大家嘅痛處就舒服咗，得到醫治嚇。依個係非常。感動嘅一個嘅情景。好，最後一題嚇，有啲咩係我哋唔容易了解、唔容易回應、唔容易學嘅呢
誒、嗯，我諗對於嗰個阿榮呢，其其實咧佢一個好好叻嘅女,女仔嚟，可能即係讀咗好多書係 professional 嚟嘅。咁但係因為屋企要誒就老公工作嘅關係呢，咁所以就變咗要做咗家庭主婦。所以佢其實佢好多深層嘅嘢呢，都冇即係同個老公特別特別講出嚟。咁、那個老公可能喺個 job 度又 s u f f e r 咗好多嘅即係工作上嘅困惑，亦都冇佢將自己深層嘅嘢表達出嚟。咁變咗佢哋兩個就真係好好好。很遙遠好遙遠，咁所以就要要嗰、那個即係即係治治療師，希望能夠即係將佢哋即係拍拍拍埋啲咁樣樣，咁就誒誒、呃呃、最難學習嘅，即係即係表達自己最深層嘅嘅感受咯。即係前面嗰啲就話哦，我唔開心，我唔高興，咁啊好容易講出嚟。但係點解唔開心唔高興？背後咧有陣時就自己兩夫婦都唔係咁容易表達得到咯。好唔該大家嚇，即係當我每次睇依啲嘅影像嘅時候咧，都睇到好多嘅嘢嚇，都挑起自己好多嘅感覺嚇。好多時即係我哋睇嘅時候會睇到，咦我好似阿 Blair 咁喎，即係我好似阿阿雲咁嚇，咁已經幫你嚟到接觸裏頭嗰啲嘅感受、裏頭嘅依附嘅需求同埋恐懼嚇。咁所以希望即係大家有用依啲角度係一個借鏡。當你咁深層嘅嚟到去睇到自己睇到對方喺嗰啲層面嚟到有個互動，好多時候你唔識點做，但係佢俾我哋睇到嘅時候，我哋就識點做，係嘛？識點樣嚟到去講，點樣邀請對方入到去嗰個深層嘅情緒裏頭。好多謝大家嚇。